Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I've got this absolutely awesome antique, classic, hand-built racing cart. It's a two-cycle racing with the remote starter on the cart right there, electric-powered starter. We fired it up. This thing absolutely screams. It's got an expansion chamber on it. It runs off of alcohol. I don't know how many horsepower it has, but if I was a betting man, I'd say it's, it's 100 cc, so it's got to have 15, 18 horse, and it absolutely freaking flies. Um, it's an antique. It's from the, uh, I believe, from the from the uh, late 60s and 70s era. They raced these about two miles up the road here in Stafford. And a local uh, collector who sold us a bunch of motorcycles had this and offered it up. So we purchased it. We were going to put it on display in the museum, but we ran out of money for the museum restoration. And I got to come up with $300,000. So we're sell selling a lot of these really cool antique pe uh, museum pieces that we have. The, the difference about this one is this one runs. This one absolutely runs like a bear. It'll fire right up. Um, we started it about six months ago. It runs off of alcohol, uh, which you put in this container right here. And here's the uh, spare engine. Like most ra racing carts, it had a spare engine, so you could rebuild one, have it ready if you're in a championship series and your engine blew. Disc brake uh, has a, the, the um, remote starter cart, uh, racing steering wheel, uh, three-point harness, um, just a really, really cool hand-built, hand-welded machine. There's a local guy in Stafford that made these for the racing series, and they're all custom-built, every one of them. So, really cool piece of Americana, little piece of, of uh, racing history. It's, it's, it says the GTD racing team. I don't know what GTT stands for, uh, to be honest with you, but um, the engine was built by, look at this, engine by Joe over here. Look at this. Clots Grand Champion Formula. This is Grand Champion Cart Racing. This is a legitimate racing cart. Heavy duty slicks on it. Two ply 410 by fours in the rear. And uh, they're, uh, what are they? 10.5 by, by fives in the rear. So a uh, really cool piece of uh, American racing history. Uh, it's a classic. Um, we weren't gonna repaint it. We'll leave it just the way it is because it looks really cool. We're gonna hang it from the ceiling of the bar. Um, if you buy it and you want to ship it, uh, we can help you with shipping arrangements. Um, if you want to leave it here over the winter, we charge 50 bucks a month for storage. Um, first two months are free. So good luck bidding on it. If you have any questions, give us a call 860-454-7024. If you look at the engine, it's in beautiful condition. It's, uh, it says Marga, M-A-R-G-A-Y on the rear end. It has a 3356 serial number on there. The engine um, has some a decal on there. I'm not sure if I can read it, but I'll try to. Um, it says uh, serial number D426057. It's a McCulloch, McCulloch Corporation um, model 400165D. I don't know if that means it's a 165. I thought they were 100s, but it turns over beautifully. Got, got a lot of compression. A lot of compression. Listen to that. Listen to that. We should. We probably, we probably should have started it for the video, but um, we're not. I, but I guarantee you the thing will start and run. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful antique racing go-kart. Piece of Americana and moto history. Eliminator Arco tires. Just a cool piece. Really cool looking uh, remote starter. So good luck bidding on it. God bless America.